What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. For those of you stopping by the been before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So I was actually tagged a while back by Tony over in the UK, Fragdicted. I was catching up on his videos the other day and realized I missed the tag. Uh, my apologies, Tony, but I immediately jumped on it. So here we are with the designer version. My four fragrances for life, one for each season. Stay tuned. So starting off with spring, this was actually my number one on my spring cheapy list. Um, with all the fragrances I could think of for spring and Mancera Wave Musk even falls into that. I just love the way this one smells so much and if I can only keep one for spring, I want to keep John Barbados Artisan Blue. I love the way this one smells that much. It beat out so many things that you guys may have thought I would have picked for spring. I just love this fragrance. It's such a natural green smell. <laughs> it's just everything for, I still can't believe this is a blue bottle with a blue webbing, you know, pattern, net, knit, whatever on it. Cause this is such a green smelling fragrance. I think the color green when I smell this, it's so fresh. It has a little citrusness to it, but not much. It's more green herbal aspects and freshness. I just love it. Three to four hours, performance is nothing. Spray it heavy, just refresh. I'd rather have this than anything else for spring. No questions asked. I just think this is such a great fragrance. It might be shocking for some of you. Some of you are gonna totally get it, but my pick for spring, designer fragrances. I'm gonna keep one. John Barbados Artisan Blue. It was an immediate thought when I was picking my spring fragrance. Now my summer designer pick, this one was pretty easy too, just like my spring pick. Actually all these were. The first fragrance that came to mind immediately when I thought of the season. Very, very easy to pick these. Um, a lot of you may think it's the original, but if I had to keep one, and it's going to be my summer fragrance from now on, it's got to be Aqua, as in Invictus Aqua from Paco Rabanne. Yep, I picked this over the original, because I always say they're kind of 1A and 1B with each other. But when I really think about which one it would have to be, if I'm picking a fragrance that I'm going to wear all summer, every summer, forever and ever, it's going to have to be this one. This is the most complimented fragrance I've ever worn. I absolutely adore the scent on this fragrance. I love the way it smells. It's garnered me the most compliments. It's super fresh. It's super versatile. I love this one. I want to smell it when we're talking about it. I like this so much better than the 2016 limited version. It's, it's not even funny. I know there's a lot of people that swear by that one, but I swear by this one. This is a must have, must keep for me. If I can only keep one designer fragrance for summer, I smell it floating in the air. It's going to be Paco Rabanne's Invictus Aqua, the 2018 to present formula. Uh, a lot of people ask me in the comments, do you mean 2018 batch or is the current one the same? No, this is, this is it. The frosted glass one is the 2016 that was limited edition just for that summer. This, the reason it says Invictus Aqua is because it's a tester, but that has this gradient blue, clear to blue design. That's the, that came out in 2018 and it's the current formulation. It is Invictus Aqua. They, at this point, you really don't even have to say 2018. You can just say Invictus Aqua because it's the only one available on the market. And it's the one I would have to keep for summer. Now for fall, this could go one of two ways. Because at the end of the day, it's a niche fragrance. There's, I'm sorry, I'll argue with anybody. This is a niche fragrance. Because of the quality of this, and the only thing this house currently sells is this fragrance and ancillary products of this fragrance after shaves, now has shave soaps coming out, beard oils, things like that. But, used to be a, des a clothing designer, and eventually, I'm sure, will be a clothing designer. A lot of you have probably figured out who I'm talking about. This is a horror off and Zaharoff Signature Pour Homme. Of course I gotta keep this as one of my four. If I was doing my niche list, I guess based on a technicality with George being a designer, at the end of the day, he, it needs to be on my designer list, but this is a niche fragrance, guys. 
It's niche as it gets. It's the only thing currently available besides ancillary products with this fragrance oil in it. it doesn't sell clothes currently. Has it in many years and like I said, eventually, sure he will. But for right now, this is it. This is what I got to keep for fall. This is my favorite fragrance to wear with a suit or dress up or anything like that. This is very gentlemanly. This is my favorite masculine scent, overly masculine. Like this screams, this is a man's fragrance. I got a lot of fragrances like that. Well, this is my favorite one. Um, performance is great. Doesn't fill a room. Spray again. Doesn't fill a room, but doesn't sit super close to the skin either. Eight to 10 hours, depending on the time of year. Um, in the summer, probably eight hours, but I'll tell you what, cooler months, every bit of nine to 10 hours. Great fragrance. Worth every penny. There's actually a link in the description below if you'd like to get your hands on this and a two ounce charcoal soap that's in conjunction with Gentleman's Nod. I'll have some pictures of it rolling right here in the corner. Get your hands on it. Definitely get a sample if you haven't already. Those are free. Get them from the website. You can still go through the link to get it. Get you a sample and try this. And you'll understand why I have the banner right there and why this is in so many videos on this channel. This is a phenomenal fragrance and one that you had to know it was going to be on my list. If I can only keep four fragrances forever, this is going to be one of them. That's a horror. Signature pour home. And then some of you may have figured out what I'm going to pick for winter as well. This list is actually kind of predictable if, if you watch me on a regular basis. But it could have went a few different ways in its own line. But I just got to go with the Parfum. It's my favorite one. Dior Homme. Parfum. I've got a backup bottle of it too. It's such a good fragrance. It's radiating out of here. I don't need to waste the spray. <sighs> that mildly animalic smell to the leather with that touch of oud, the rose. I don't really get much of the orange. It really kind of gives a little bit of freshness up top. And the sandalwood dry down is definitely there. The leather and the iris, that's the main things that are just so beautiful in this fragrance. It's powerful pierces through the cold. It's classy. You can dress this one up. Hard to dress down in my opinion. Very easy to dress up. Such a good fragrance. Very powerful. Like I said, you can still find them. Prices have just skyrocketed for these 75 ml bottles. Glad I bought two of them when I did. I wore this one time. I immediately bought a backup bottle while I could still get it. And I paid $120 a bottle then or $115 a bottle then. Prices are way above that now. <laughs> 115 is cheap compared to what they're going for now. So for those of you that managed to get it or have a decan or have a bottle, you totally get where I'm coming from with this. This has been talked about to death in the community over the last several years because it's such a great fragrance. And if I'm only keeping one for winter, I'm keeping Dior Homme Parfum without a shadow of a doubt. Well, that's my four. So now I need to tag a few people. I know Matt did it already about a month ago. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm going to tag Steve, Fragrance Fanatic, and Noah, Noe Cruz Jr. Titan Fragrances. I don't know if you've done it yet or not. I didn't check. I'm going to tag you as well, my friend. So that's my two guys, Fragrance Fanatic and Titan Fragrances. That's who I'm going to tag to do this. Let me know which four fragrances you would keep for life, one for each season, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And until next time, guys, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these were predictable for you? Um, how many of these surprised you? I will be shocked. You, you're relatively new to the channel if some of these picks surprised you because these are some of my favorite fragrances that I talk about on a regular basis. Um, and until next time, I will say, if you get any one of these four, you give them a spray now, you'll understand why these were the ones I picked for this video. Have a good one, guys.